arrived at Cabramatta Car Park and we're looking for a park. So uh, good luck to us, we'll see how it goes. Hi, my name is Janice and I hope you're all doing well. In today's episode, we're gonna be exploring another suburb here in Sydney. I don't know if you can tell, but we're gonna be exploring Cabramatta. So I have an empty stomach, I have two friends with me, and I have a list of places that I should visit. So without further ado, let's go and check it out. Okay, we've just arrived at Cafe de Palma and we've got three things. We've got spring rolls, we've got bangkok, and we've also got like a pancake type thing. I'll show you when it arrives. I'm incredibly excited for the food because I'm so hungry. I've barely eaten today and it's already 2.30 p.m. So get ready for the food. First up on this list is spring rolls. I'm not actually sure what's inside. I guess we'll find out. I'm pretty sure this is a vegetable spring roll. I, I think it has some sort of taro and uh, some other vegetables inside as well. It's, it's really good. <laughs> Okay, our second dish of the day has arrived and it is bangkok. It's like a coconut pancake with prawns inside and then they give you like leaves to wrap it around. I can't wait to eat it. Okay, I'm gonna try and one bite of this. Did you actually just put it all in your mouth in one bite? It tastes exactly like what it sounds like. It's like coconut pancake with shrimp. It is really, it is really delicious. I mean, I say the same things all the time, but I genuinely mean it. It's really, really good. And next up, we've got the Vietnamese style pancake with pork and shrimp. It's, it's got leaves where you like wrap it up as well. And it's got some type of like fish sauce. So I'm just gonna wrap it up in leaves and then shove it in my mouth. Like a lot of the like the pancakes, they have a hint of like coconut taste to it. The pork and the prawns are delicious, and it's just like it works. It's very similar to the one we had, but um, this one is a lot thinner. The other like small pancake was a lot thicker. I like the textures and I love the flavors, and overall it is delicious. All right, we are done with our first location. Let's head on and get some more food. The second thing that we're going to be getting today is... It's going to be a lot of carbs. It's something that I absolutely love. I ate a lot when I was in Vietnam. It is the bar mi. <laughs> okay, so we've just got ourselves a bar mi. This is a pork bar meat with extra pate and it comes to four dollars the bread is so so good because the outside is quite crunchy but then the inside is so soft the pickled vegetables are like top notch it is a little bit spicy like just a tiny tiny little bit but man it is so so good and because i shared it with my friend it's only two dollars and i have even more stomach space to eat even more food so right next to KK Bakery, which is where we're getting our bar meat, there is this arcade thing where there's $5 inside. It's $1 to play, but then there is money inside. Look, we are going to try and see if we can use a dollar to win $5. Uh, and just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we lost a dollar. We have just arrived at Cafe Not to get coffee. I mean, I can't come to Cabramatta and not get Vietnamese iced coffee, which is something that I've just been like missing ever since I left at Vietnam. We also got two other desserts, which is a caramel flan and also a crushed strawberry drink, which I absolutely cannot wait. So without further ado, 
it's like drinking dessert, but there's a really, really strong coffee taste. I love it. I love it so much. It's, it's quite sweet as well. But I think I've said it so many times, because the coffee is quite bitter, it balances out really, really well. So, this is a caramel flan. It's very creamy, it's very eggy. The, the syrup around is very sweet. It tastes, it tastes a little bit like coffee. And this is a, it's a water chestnut inside a mochi type thing. Chewiness of a tapioca ball, but inside has a crunch of the water. It's the chewiness of the tapioca ball, but inside it has the crunch of a water chestnut. It's texturally satisfying. Okay, both my friends have said that the coffee is too strong for them, and my response to that is they're just really weak. I think it's delicious. Okay, third thing on the list is a strawberry st strawberry milk. It's like crushed ice with strawberries and milk. It's not bad. I prefer the coffee and the flan better. It tastes like strawberry. You know that candy, strawberry cream? It tastes like that. Okay, we're now done with our coffees and desserts, so we're going to head to... I think we're going to get some pandan waffles. Apparently they're $1.50, so we'll see you later. In between our eating, we've decided to go grocery shopping because there's so much fresh fruit and vegetables here. There is so much different types of fruit. Like, there's durian here right now as well, which I probably won't buy. I definitely won't buy. The grocery stores here have a lot of, like, specific Vietnamese type food. I can buy pho base here. Look. I can make my own pho and then I can buy pho noodles and then get some beef and voila, I can homemade pho right in the kitchen of Janice Fung. on the rooftop of a car park overlooking parts of Cabramatta and what I'm trying to capture is a time lapse. I don't know how well that would be because the sunset isn't until sunset is sunset has already started. I'll see if I have enough memory on my memory card to capture the entirety of the sunset. I don't think so though but I think we will get a pretty good time lapse right behind you okay we've just arrived at Fertile Bay and I have got myself a beef pho for tonight for dinner Firstly, of course, like without doing anything first, I'm gonna have to taste the broth. The beef flavor is very, very strong. I actually really like it. I love it with the lemon. Okay, and now I'm gonna try the noodles and then I'm gonna try the beef. It's really, really good. It like, it really hits the spot. I had a bit of tripe as well. It was nice and chewy, which was great. And now the beef. Now I usually, the way that I do my sauce is I have like hoisin sauce and then sriracha. And then I just like do a combo dip. The beef is so tender. I really, really like it. Now a bite with everything. Okay. 
It is so, so good. I love it so much. I meant to share this bowl with my friend because we're intending to eat more later, but I kind of wish I had my own bowl now. Okay, we're now done with pho, but we're not done yet. We are gonna go and get DIY rice paper rolls, which is right next door. All right, we have just arrived at our last destination for today. We are having DIY rice paper rolls. And I also got myself a rainbow drink with red, yellow-ish and green beans. I feel like this is one of those drinks where you'd be pretty filled up just by drinking the drink. So I'm glad I'm not drinking it alone. And that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. If you're still watching, thank you so much for watching till the end. Uh, and let me know in the comments below if there are any other suburbs or neighborhoods you want me to cover. I post new videos every Tuesdays and Fridays, so check them out if you have time. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.